Bjorn, old friend. I, Siegfried of the Knights of Katarina, have come to uphold the place. Right, so there's nothing in here. That would be dumb. But there ain't. So there isn't. Sorry, we'll try that again. So there isn't. Right. Uh, what was I doing? Taking off the Kukris. We ain't gonna need them. No more. Alright, so we've basically done the Profane Capital. Sick. Now this might just be two episodes after all. Crazy. Alright, so there's some goodies we gotta get over there, and so on. We got a three over there. But, not quite yet. So if I stopped to look, I would have noticed that there, on the bridge where we got the pickaxe before we're at, you can see two jailers. That's what I'm running into, by the way. Yeah. I don't know where they are gained perfect hidden body, but I ain't wanna ask. Frankly, we don't want to know. It's some jailers we could do without. And there's the dead rats. And this is the key, not for Sigurd. No, that would be dumb. That will help free a bunch of people, in fact. Ring of keys to the Irithville dungeon, held by the jailer. Opens most cell doors. On, on what grounds do they remain in prison, considering that by now, they are mindless hollow... <laughs> mindless hollows, un or unrealized... Gibbering fools. I don't know. Condemned to the ban server for using mods. Something like that. Alright, so that's Wrath of the Gods down there. 18 poison arrows, which would have been really handy when I was trying to tro uh, troll those two Millwood Knights. This incredibly easily missable jump through here. And lo and behold. My liberation requires a key, but the key... Hmm. Oh? And we get that weird door bug. I don't know what causes that. Huh, so, okay. Because of the message. So you can place a summon sign here if you if you really want. Anyway. Sup, my friend. Oh, you are a saint. Once again, you are my valiant savior. I, Siegfried of Katarina, express my deepest gratitude. Take this, a token of my thanks. Go on, it's all yours. Ah, no, please. Go on ahead. I've my own road to take, and a duty to fulfill. Very soon. Ah, I... Uh, Alright, a few minor things to do before we get out of here. Yeah, I should have jumped. My bad. Time for jumping, indeed. Yep. Wrath of the Gods. Yeah, so that's a cool sort of stuff. I didn't, didn't really like it at first, but, you know, it is pretty cool, I guess. It's pretty cool for casters, I suppose. If you're a Int build. <laughs> Who would ever go and int build? Yeah, on the off chance. Every, every once in a while, I guess. And as you can see, I made up there still pretty butthurt. Doesn't know what to do. He's just staring at us. Menacingly. Wait a minute, why am I... Okay, you know what, fine. We'll risk dying. This will be hilarious if it happens. Alright, so, cool trip, uh, cool, yeah, trip. Trick for invaders. If you stick it, you can totally do that. He's probably gonna try to clip us. Yes, he is. But yeah, 
nice little getaway thing. And if you have Silver Cat, you can get away scot free for the most part. And most hosts that are gonna follow you probably won't. So it works out amazingly. Yeah. <laughs> he is so stupid. And now back to the rubble. Right. Jog ahead. You know what? Ooh, some shit's loaded in big time. Enjoy the pitter patter. Alright, my friends. Time to place my ceremonial message. Uh, object. Yeah, Henry, sure. Yeah. Oh, yeah, an item. I'll grab that. Oh, there you are. I thought you'd all but forgotten me. How sweet. Good to know that a skinny little heretic can still turn heads. Hmm? Oh, you're not one of them, are you? Accept my apologies for mistaking you for one of those leeches. So, what business have you here? This is a land of monstrosities. And I am no exception. You're here to save me. But I'm guilty. A wretched child of the abyss. Is that something you can forgive? Oh, really? You are no ordinary man. Very well. Besides, I've grown tired of imprisonment. I am Carla, and I accept your proposal. Anyway, yeah, my cringy message is fine, but not that one. That crosses a line. You can jump that way, but it's a little harder to do. I was doing that like an idiot a while ago, then one of my mates just suggested, why the fuck don't you just do that? You know, except not shit, of course. Man, the pitter pad is really fucking weird after all this time. Alright. So, I was just gonna wander on this way to actually point out our Dragon Peak for real. Soon. In a few episodes, I guess. Yep, gotta do this. Yeah. Um. Two things I'm thinking of. One, boy, it sucks it takes this long to get Carla. You know, for, uh, for dark magic in general. And two, it sucks that dragon form doesn't grant you any armor. And that you're effectively naked. I'm so happy many of the mods have, um, rebalanced it so it counts as some kind of armor. Definitely helps out quite a bit. Definitely makes it a little more fun than uh, getting too shot by most things. I don't know if the uh, damage is worth a trade off. Yeah, and these guys are awesome at clipping, so you don't want to stick around for too long. Alright, one more thing I was going to grab real quick. Yeah, but we have a key ring. Ah, oh, well, uh, technically I should go back to the start, but. Ah, uh, fuck it, I guess we will. Yep, drop down here. Prison cheat. Fantastic. We can buy some cool stuff, including Carl's clothes. That hat in particular is fucking rad. So yeah, I've said it previously, and there's a good chance most people watching this, you know, know this shit already, but yeah. Uh, she's just Yuria from Demon Souls. Yeah, with uh, less severe. Oh, yeah, that was the weirdest part, like, looking into the lore of Yuria back in Demon Souls. Oh, 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 hell shadow, heroes rise again. Obliterating everything that's not, um, your friend. Yeah, I was gonna say canon, but whatever. Yeah, um, the, the stuff of reading up on Kala, and the thing where it's implied maybe the... Uh, fat ministers did something in particular might have come across as a little heavy without a proper warning so I apologize 
Uh, from that, in that bit in Demon Souls. Uh, yeah. Not sure of uh, the uh, validity of that claim, but who knows. Alright, so yeah, Carl's good stuff. Pointed hat, signature of a heretical sorceress. Carla, however, always kept it close. And then, yep, basically the, uh, yeah, basically the same description from Demon's Souls. Man, sh sure would suck if it was a remake of Demon's Souls and they completely missed the point of Carla's garbs. Huh, that'd be as silly as making the monumental's garbs black or grey. Anyway, so the Xanthus gear. I like this a lot for casters. Very cool. Particularly the one I use with the, um, what's it called? Um, the, why am I forgetting the fucking name? Um, the Fire Witch, um, weapon. I don't have it on me. Uh, the Immolation Tinder. Anyway, a few little things we gotta do before we can get out of here and go murk you on. Alright, actually, yes, there's a few things indeed. Fucking Christ. Alright. Back again, I see that. Alright, hey. Orbeck, do I have something for you, man? Oh my. You've made quite the discovery. This is a scroll of the prodigious Big Hat Logan. A masterful sorcerer, long missed in Vinheim. And now we have a scroll. Right here in my very hands. Alright, so some cool shit. Homing Soul Mass, Soul Sphere. And that's all. I don't really have any purpose for that. Oh, Nothing to give Cornix, of course. If only I was a woman, and that shit is too dark for me, fam. Ah. I feel dirty for using fam unironically for once in my life. Alright, first of all, reinforce Estus. Second of all, coal. Lords, where did you happen upon this coal? This is much too dark. I see the abyss in it. Yet, a smith I remain. I won't turn down a request. But forget not. Your fight is for the flame and for your fellow kin, just like mine. A cursed fate this may be, but hope remains, does it not? That it does, I guess. Yeah, so it takes this bloody long to be able to have Dark, Bleed, and uh, Hollow Infusion. Pretty be careful. So, if you're a caster, if you're a, if you're a Pyro or a Dark build, or you know, both, you gotta wait until either after Pontiff, or just before Pontiff, taking that huge detour, to infuse your weapons with something that's not raw. Hooray! Alright. Now, best girl is down here. This is going to be a little bit of talking, so I apologize. Oh, and I realized from editing that bit with Hodrick, having him as centered as possible is best for audio, so... Apologies for all the time I fucked that up previously. Anyway. Ah, oh, there you are. As I said, I am Carla. And I'm grateful to you. Now, what shall we do? The only thing that might interest you is my sorcery. Although my dark arts are a detestable sort. That wouldn't interest you, would it? Hmm. You're a wicked one, aren't you? Very well. Humans are of the dark, and you are no different. Some may avert their eyes, but the truth remains the truth. Be careful, though. Few humans are privy to this knowledge. Let it be a secret, kept between you and I. There is one thing that you should know. There is a darkness within man, and I am afraid you will peer into it. Whether the fear will spark self-reflection or a ruinous nostalgia is up to you entirely. Fear not. Your choice will bring you no scorn. There is one thing. Right, so to start off, Dark Edge and Affinity. Pretty cool spells. Good stuff. Meanwhile. Oh, a 
pyromancy tome, have we? Quilana, Witch of Isolith. Well, this is a fascinating pyromancy. Very well, if this is your wish. I will unravel the thing the best I can. Besides, it will be nice to play master for once. Oh, another pyromancy tome, have we? And one that resonates with the dark. Yes, well suited to me. <laughs> I may be a heretical sorcerer, but you bring me nothing but pyromancies. Fiendish little lad, you. Oh, is this a divine tone? What on earth are you thinking? I wouldn't go near a divine tone, or any so-called miracle. And casters of miracles are sure to steer clear of me. So please, don't torture me so. Ah, oh, you. How could you? Oh. I know. I know. I owe my life to you. Fine then. But just this once, I will tell you this tale. But do understand, it will be my first time. I'll have no sniggering, should I err. Oh. Oh, I... I'll have... No sniggering. Got it. Yeah, so those are the only dark sorceries <laughs> sorceries she actually sells. Rest are uh, pyro and miracles. Fire whip. Yeah, I don't know if it's any good in this game. I've barely used it, especially not for PvP. Firestorm. Kind of redundant, given you, you can get the better one from Cornix earlier. And the fact that only one pillar hits at a time, not multiple, causing someone like Saint Wright to lose his fucking mind. <laughs> Rapport is pretty fun. Uh, Black Flame, well... Y y it's Black Flame. Fire Orb, very cool. Um, if you're a pure pyro and you really don't want to fight Old Demon King early, that's why you leave Great Wood or, or you just beat up Pontiff as fast as you can. Because then you can get down there to get all this shit and absolutely curb stomp it. You know, because you might want Chaos Bed Vestiges or something. I don't know, I'm just spitballing here. Dark Blade, meanwhile. Um, yeah, pretty cool. Uh, only scales with faith for some reason. Hmm. A Vow Silence. Nowhere near as convenient as the Dark Souls 1 version. Dead Again kind of sucks in this game, unfortunately. Deep protection, pretty alright for PvE. Second you take it into, into PvP, it's not great. Nor, we've already got Doris's gnawing, and it doesn't have tracking any of her stuff does. Or any of the evangelists do, so you know. Do stay safe. Sure thing, Carla. Thank you. Alright. Let's think about some levels. And in fact I'm gonna gear up properly this time. Cause we're going in. Um yeah, shield of want. Fuck it. Alright. Some fashion. What do we want to wear? You know what? I should probably handle fashion on my own time, actually. But I'll just slap on the Elva stuff to start off. And then I'll go from there. Looking cool, Joker. Alright. Cool, let's see. Um... Health's pretty good. One more point's all I really need. I'm about to get a ton from Yorm. I'm happy with these. What are we getting from this? I'm gonna get at least two levels from Yorm and I can put them into Faith to finally use Boulder Heave. So we'll do that maybe. We'll do this. We'll do this. And I'll do that. Alright. And then I'll put some more into Achievement and Faith. Very well. Oh, my bad. Alright. Cool. I'll see you there. I'm going to do some uh, shopping. And then time to raid the profane capital. Uh. 
And we are back. Uh, so notable thing the Xanthus Ash uh, let you buy is young white branches. Oh, and gold pine resin too if you're a, if you're a try hard invaded. But yeah, finally, I can buy some camouflage. Yeah, so fireballs, you know, cool, cool stuff. Yep. Let's drop down here for the Oni Slayer Great Bow. Let's see. Just out of curiosity. It's got better range, but let's have a look. Yeah, Millwood's still better. Of course it is. Yeah, Millwood outclasses all the other bows. It's kind of upsetting. Well, of the, of the two other great bows. Yep, so just for the statue. Yeah, good stuff. Good stuff. Alright, rusted coin. And we have something down here. Yeah, so we have the Alva Helm, Armor, Black Knight Gauntlets, and the Millwood Knight Leggings. Now, I think we can swap Silver Cat to something a little more festive, perhaps. Let's see, let's see, what can we put on? Hmm. I don't know, maybe... Oh, I should have kept Lingering Dragon Crest on me. I, uh, got, I got both of these at some point. I think I, I bought one on camera, I'm pretty sure. Huh. Yeah, fuck it, whatever, this is good enough. Yeah, no, this'll this'll suffice. Screw it. Hey buddies. Oh. Didn't expect it to actually hit. Yeah, so they have a little poke. It's cute. Handmaid's dagger lets you get some FP back on hit. Pretty handy, but it's not particularly great. In fact, you want it super unupgraded. So, you know, you can uh, do, all, do all fun stuff and keep your victim alive long enough for piling up victims. Oh, you fucker. We uh, caught on the treasure. And we ducked that. Yeah, so these guys, I'll uh, get to shit on them properly in the Grand Archives. But when they're mid-air, they cease to have a hitbox. Which means if you're lobbing any spell at them, well, you're not going to hit them. That's what that means. Yeah, so on top of their little pokes, they have fireballs. Good stuff. Normally I do all of this before, well, uh, sorry, after killing Yorm, for convenience of the bonfire being right there. But no. Hey, buddy. Damn, I knew that happened. Now, I guess we're going to hit him with one of these. Ooh, yoink. And now we hit him with one of these. Probably not going to use the spear, but having it would be for, for, for completion at sake. Alright, yeah, we're going to back up because he's going to do a stupid wing slap. Nope. Worth it. So, kind of weird things with their block. Well, it's a f we'll take the we'll take the scenic fast route. Um, their block will apply earlier than the animation would suggest. Generally, when they're about halfway through pulling their wing back, they will guard. Kind of lame, but you learn how to how to deal with it. Eventually, of course. All right. So here's the real treat. It's up ahead. Got a whole bunch of these fuckers. That's screw it. We're putting this on. Alright, let's just go down to with that still. You can tell based on the way we're waddling like that. Other gauntlets, perfect. Alright. We'll see if we can get some life back. Meanwhile. It's about here, right? Yep, there we go. I wish I had a plus six strike weapon. How much lights do we have? Oh, 18, sick. So I can get something from three to six if I really want. Slash is not very good against statues, would you believe? Crazy, I know, but... Yeah. And they also love doing that. Whether you hit them or you try to kick them, they love doing that shit and getting you in instability frames. So yeah, just there. Um, didn't look like he was guarding properly, but he, yeah, apparently he was. Yeah, the spear. Fantastic. I can maybe show off with that in a tad. Hey buddy, get along with that uh that handmaiden. 
Yeah, so they have fire surge, they have fireballs, they have pokes. Unfortunately, you can't get their white robes. You can only get the jailer's black robes, which do look sick. Also, yes, they do quite a bit with their fire. Kind of annoying. Of course, they are casting fire sorceries. Because reasons. Because it's a big deal for doing that. I always wondered if fire sorceries was meant to be like a tongue-in-cheek reference to Demon Souls. Um, in terms of it being a thing in Dark Souls 1. And something that continued all the way through the series. Anyway, enough of that. This is also why I prefer doing this after Yorm. Because you can just farm for the symbol of Avarice. Great Shield of Glory and two Rusted Rings. Now while they uh, pack themselves up, we have some goodies over here. A non-mimic, in fact. For Ember. Man, I wish Yorm set was in the game proper. It's in the file. Yeah, no, no, no. It was one of the sets that was in the files that just never got released. Don't know why. It works fine in the mods. I don't know how much touching up I had to do to make it good, but looks fine to me. We'll give him one more swing. Literal and metaphorical at the same time. Come on. You guys good? You think now to betray me? Yep. Right here. Pop that on. Armor should be good. We can take off that. Now, from memory. The sword we're going to grab at the back of a room. Is basically the same weight as this bad boy. If not, I'm just going to take off something. To compensate. But before we do that. I'm going to make a cloud save. So this does not go pear shaped. Because I don't want to do this whole session again. So. See you soon, my friends. Yeah, so unfortunately, Profane Capital's kind of short. Um, and our friend Yorm got turned into a gimmick fight. Apparently, this was meant to be used against the Cursor of Greatwood once upon a time. Shit got changed. Now, you can fight Yorm legit if you really want. Um, problem is, though, that means Sieg's most likely going to die. And if you want a genuine fight without Sieg interfering, uh, well, you kind of miss out on the last Seek Rail. Debatably, that could be worth it, depending on your view, because if you Merc Seek in the cell and do that little trick, you can have infinite Titan Knight Slash. Just gotta be careful. I'm trying to aggro your on to me. Yep. So, obviously, syncing it up with Seek and taking turns is the best way to do this, to ensure he's going to live, and waiting till Yorm gets up. Come on, buddy. Of course, you've got to mind your stamina while you're at it. So, yeah, bit of a shame what happened to Yorm. Because if you could fight him safely with Sieg acting as a debuffer, that'd be sick. But it's unfortunately not what we ended up with. Because, yeah, once upon a time, again, I don't know how Irrefield Dungeon was meant to go, but we were meant to meet Walnir down here, back when he was your, well, your skeleton form. All right, your bit of ash. It 
seems I am in your debt once again. My thanks. I could have not kept my promise without you. Now, for a final toast. To your valor, and my old friend Yorm. Long may the sun shine. <laughs> well, I'm going to have myself a little nap. The only thing to do, really, after a nice toast. You are a true friend. Best of luck with your duty. Well, you... you... So that's it. That's Yorm, and that's Sieg. Now unfortunately with Storm Ruler, our little Demon Souls reference can't really be used like this outside of the boss room. Which sucks. Well in fact, it's not working now Yorm's out of the room entirely. Oh well, at least we got Sieg's goodies. Worn by the Knights of Katarina. Often ridiculed, infuriating the knights. Oh well, guess we're all done. Nothing else to be done, I suppose. Right, let's head back, level up, call it quits. Hmm. I guess my goal is gonna be farming up a little bit for the item sets, for the armor sets, but that's all. That's all I really gotta do. Oh, maybe a spell or two off camera. We'll see what we can do. But anyway, well, time to close this out. Well, right. There's the two points I promised, and let's start putting a tiny bit in entombment. Farewell, Ashen One. May the flames guide thee. And while I'm at it, I haven't put the ashes of there either for the Abyss Watchers. You're still here, until it's safe to do your quest. I don't exactly know how to do the skip, unfortunately, but whatever. Our old friend Yorn. Long may the sun shine. Right, well we're good, I guess. Um, Nothing to really talk about, really. 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 This thing's pretty fucking rad. Um, stamina reduction... Well, stamina regen reduction isn't really worth it, though. So we have a pierce shield, finally. You can have two of these bad boys if you talk to patches, but eh. Yeah, nothing else to really talk about. I think we're good. Right, well, that was convenient. All done. Oh, and of course, yeah, I forgot to mention the whole thing about Alva, where he's looking for the witch, perhaps. A chance. And you can make your own, own assumptions about if Carl is possibly their daughter or um, the witch reincarnated. Yeah, which kind of raises the question if she was a shard of Manus too. Anyway, enough of that shit. That's for a Dark Souls 2 playthrough. That won't be happening for a long time. Right, well, thanks for joining us. Cheers, girl. I'm gonna go kick an, an Eldritch Slime's ass next episode. Yeah, but yeah, after we get invaded and took it, and take out Lotrek and his friend. Cause that's totally how that works. Alright. See you later.